Alright guys, this is Trey with Total Justice Gaming. We're going to do an update on uh, the battery acid deck. No, no, say it right. The worst, most disliked deck video in the history of the channel. Sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Joe's going to... We're going to need a new host for the thing after this one, guys. Well, Alright. He's technically a co-host. I'm still here. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to start with the threes really quick. Gotta do, so, gotta find cards. Like bag of actually, we're not going to do that. that bad. Alright, so the buddy is uh, the Demon Lord Dragon Bots. Um, he's the size 2, 7, 2, 4, pay one gauge call. During your turn, this card on your field cannot be destroyed. Um, at the beginning of your attack phase for this turn, this card gets double attack. If you have 4 less life, for this turn, this card gets plus 3,000 power and triple attack instead. And it's for the whole turn, so if you gain life during the battle, it still goes off. Um, Alright, so we're going to get into threes. We play one of the Espada Dragon Officer Tyrarch. Um, he's a size 3, 7, 2, 7. He's got well-balanced stats. Call cost, pay to gauge. Uh, this card on the field cannot be destroyed by the effects by the effect of a monster. When this card attacks, destroy all monsters on your opponent's field and deal damage to your opponent equal to the number of cards destroyed. If you have four life or less, destroy all cards on your opponent's field and deal damage equal to the cards instead. So, the way this works, and I believe the Mamba got into this on one of the comments, um, if you attack the center and the attack is blown up, the attack does fizzle, guys. But uh, we play that as one of... Um, we're testing this in the deck currently we're probably going to swap it out for the next card that you're going to see here in a second but um this is the flame dragon officer freyhein um he is an 816 the call cost of pay to gauge this card on your field cannot be destroyed by the effects of by the effect of a monster when this card attacks deal one damage to your opponent and it's got double attack so i mean it's just that free ping and it's got high attack and with the sword on the field it's a ten thousand beat stick so that's that's pretty good um now we play this other one and this is the one that we're probably going to take this out for a second one um this is a promo it's the calvary dragon of sorcery gold gold rod um he's an eight two five call cost pay to gauge when this card enters the field, choose and use one of the following two. Uh, first effect, uh, for this turn, this card gets plus 5,000 and double attack, which means he will be, with the sword equipped, which is the best option, he will be a 15,000 attack beat stick with two swings, or you can, when it enters the field, you can put top three cards of your deck into your gauge and you gain a life. Um, it's it's overall it's a really good card. I like it. I'm starting to like it a little bit more than the Flame Dragon, but uh, right now we're testing our threes all at one. Um, so that's it for the threes. For the size twos, we play four of the buddy. Obviously, um, he's the buddy, so kind of have to max it out. Um, I went over this earlier, so there's that. Um, play. Two of the resurrected Arc Dragon bots. This is the one from the trial deck. It is uh, same stats as bots, same call cost, pay one gauge. Um, has the same ability of during your turn on your field, it cannot be destroyed. And then its effect is at the beginning of your attack phase, if you have an item equipped, this card gets double attack. Then if you have four or less life, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. So the destroy monster happens at the beginning of the battle phase, not when you swing. Don't misread that, guys. And I believe there's a new bot coming out in the next set that this will definitely be replaced with. Um, but we're on that as two of right now. All right, now we're moving on. We're doing size twos. We're going to move on to size ones. We run three misfiring demon globes. Um, he's a 3-1-1. His abilities, let's see, uh Split the reward when another Thunder Empire on your field or enters your field. Put top card of your deck in your gauge and you draw a card. And then you can only activate that once per turn. And then uh, when this card attacks for this turn, a card on your field gets plus one crit. So it says a card, so that includes your items, guys. So you can stack it on the Drago Anthem copy, uh, dual spark, and double swing for two crit, hopefully in a perfect world, um, but we run that as a 3-up. 
Uh, also, out of three of, we run Raid Officer Delta. Um, he's a 611. He's a really good beat stick for size one. When he attacks, if you have another Thunder Empire on your field, and it doesn't have to be a monster, you put top card of your deck and you get H. Um, he's just really good gauge material. Uh, nothing more about that. Um, play four copies of Replenisher Pintar. Uh, when he enters the field, if you have an I Thunder Empire item equipped, you uh, draw a card. Um, it's just a one for one that lets you cycle through the deck faster, dig for what you need. Um, he's, he's overall, he's good. He's a 3 2 1. Uh, with the sword, he's a 5 2 1, which means he hits the basic stats required. Uh, play that as a 4 of. Um, then my favorite size one, which is the last size one we're going to talk about. This card has got me out of more trouble than I normally would care to admit. Um, this is the uh, Trilight of the Black Sword. Um, he's a 1-1-1. One, one, one. His stats kind of suck, but his effect is ridiculous. Uh, when this card attacks, you may choose a monster on your opponent's field. Pay one gauge. If you do, destroy that monster. And then he has double attack. So you have to pay a gauge every time if you want to blow something up. But um, you, you gauge pretty easily out of this deck. Um, I haven't run into very many gauge problems. Like I said, I'm probably going to swap that 1-3 out to where it gives me a little bit of extra gauge conditions if I need it. But um, this card's really good, mainly just because it has the double attack. Because, I mean, the de the whole focus of the deck is you don't even have to hit. It's just do three attacks, and if you have to use the impact, use the impact. But um, he's good as a 4 of. All right, so we're going to move on to our items. So we play... Uh, Four of the Arc Dragon Sword. Um, this is the one from the Secret Pack. It's a 6,002 crit. Pay one gauge to equip. This card on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects, which means the only way they're going to be able to get rid of this is to nullify the equip, which I don't know if it's possible. I can't remember right now. Um, or they have something that lets them bounce back any card on the field, which is normally only in Magic World. Um, but uh, his ab other abilities, all Thunder Empire monsters on your field get plus 2,000 power. That That's what make our little size ones hit the number, the magic number of five all the time. Except for the Trilight, which he's only really in there for the double attack and the effect. Um, but we play that at four of. Um, and then to finish out our items, we play seven items total. total. We play three dual sparks. This is the uh, Drago Anthem. Or not, what is it? I keep forgetting what it is. Is it Drago Anthem? Alright, so this is the Drago Anthem copy. It's, um, alright, it's a 5,001 crit, pay one gauge, pay one life to equip. This card cannot attack the left or right, can only attack center, but it's got double attack. So, I mean, like I said, you can do the combo, the globe, stacking the crit on this and have two attacks to center, but it's got a five, 5k attack, so it hits the number that we need. Um, well, his deck's illegal. Why are you playing But, uh, yeah, there's nothing much else to say about that one, guys. So, seven seven items in total. We found that that's a good number. Um, now, for the best spell in Dragon World right now, as far as I'm concerned, is the Bots X Link we played at the 4 of. Um, so, you can only cast this card if you've attacked three times or more during this turn. Uh, you guys know that Link attacks only count as one, so... Um, it's counter. Look at three cards from the top of your deck. Put one of them into your hand and put the rest in the gauge, and then you gain a life. You can only cast it once per turn. So this this helps us cycle through the deck a lot. Um, this is our biggest gauge thing mid-battle. This helps us a lot with gauge. Um, it's great. If you don't run it at at least a three of, then you're probably never going to see it when you need it. So I would always recommend at least a three, but four if you have it. Um, all right, so moving on for our shield, we play a uh, four arc dragon shield. This is the Thunder Empire exclusive shield. The uh, can only cast it during the attack on the opponent's turn if you not have a monster in center and you have a Thunder Empire on your field. Pay one gauge to cast it, nullify the attack, and draw a card. Um, nothing else to say about that really. It just costs you gauge to stop the attack and cycle the card out. Um, we play four. 
green dragon shields for a total of eight shields, eight shields total. Um, you guys know what this does. Can only attack. Uh, no, uh, if you don't have monster center, no attack in life. Um, so we play eight shields total. Um, we play three thunder X energy. This is the uh, plus three plus three counterattack. If a monster is in, if your thunder power is in battle, you can give it plus three plus three in counterattack. Um, four is too much. Two we found we didn't see it enough. It's for kind of helping bots out. Bots' defense is kind of weak, so as long as they're not swinging with something nine thousand or more, you should be able to survive it and just helps keep bots on the field. Uh, we play two, which we're probably gonna up to three if I can find the room. Um, Dragonic Thunder, Rage of the Thunder Dragon. Uh, you can only cast this if you do not have a monster in the center, which you normally don't put monsters in the center with this deck very often, um, unless you just have a board full of ones. Um, but uh, cast calls put top three cards of your deck in your drop zone, counter, destroy a size one or less monster on your opponent's field. So it's really good for when your opponent calls something, just nuke it out before it gets to use its abilities or anything like that. Um, it's good as two of, but I want up to three. Um, we play one, and this is the last spell for the deck. We play one irregular attack. So this is our other gauge card. We don't use it that often, but when we, when we need it, it seems to be there so um it's the same uh conditions as bots x link you can only cast it if you've attacked three or more times um counter destroy all monsters on your opponent's field and put the number uh put cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of monsters you destroyed um into your gauge sorry um so it, it's a good gauge card um and you can activate this and activate bots x link at the same time i believe i would have to double check that but i think you can i mean even if you can't you don't normally do both of them in the same turn anyways but um it's good as a one up right now and then to finish the deck out we play two impacts we cut this way down we uh, read the comments that uh i don't exactly remember who it was but um we looked at the conditions i'd already cut it down to three by the time he had said something but i cut it down to two because i see it all the time and we have the bots x links that help us filter through and the size one that lets us draw a card so we're always going through the deck pretty fast um but this is our Impact Thunder Lance X Tempest Buster. This is the uh, you may only you cast this if your opponent's life is five or less. You have attacked at least three times, and neither you nor your opponent have a monster in center. This card is really conditional, but it's pretty easy to fulfill the conditions. Uh, cast cost pay three gauge, deal five damage to your opponent. This card cannot be nullified, the damage cannot be reduced. If your opponent's life would become zero, it cannot be changed by your opponent's cards, and it's unrevivable. So, um, this card stops Dragon Dry, this card stops any anything, that, any set spell or item that would say you could destroy this card or do something when you would become zero and gain life back or whatever. It stops all that, so it's pretty much you play it and the game's over. Um, we try not to win with this, but if we have to, we have to. It happens. Um, but this is the Battery Acid 2.0 deck, guys. Um, please leave comments because I'm always changing the deck up. And I do like the feedback I get from you guys. Uh, this has been a Mamba Productions. Total Justice Gaming out.